my gosh, Madison. I love it. We've just been chilling. We've just been chilling, talking, getting to know each other. I'm so excited to talk to you today. I'm so excited to talk to you. (laughs) How are you doing? How is everything in this quarantine? I know when we were chatting earlier, you said that you actually are enjoying the alone time and time to yourself. Yeah, I really like it, especially with the show coming out and having a lot of new things in my life. I, I am one consistent thing that's been in my life. So it's nice to be alone and have this time to kind of take things at a certain pace. Yeah, absolutely. Would you like, it's really interesting because I know a lot of people don't really know how to be alone or are scared of, of not being with other people. Um, even though these times are super crazy, we have to, we rely on our friends and things like that. But how would you encourage other, other um, people who are watching right now to be able to be by themselves? Like, what would you say to them about that? I think the only thing that you could do is learn peace with yourself, you know, um, give yourself all of the self love, all of the positivity and just like flood yourself with love. You will, you'll grow to be comfortable with yourself because it wasn't always easy for me. And I'm finally at a point where I enjoy my own company. And I, I, I'm, the only person that is ever going to be here a hundred percent of the time. So you have to, you have to get comfortable at some point. So. That's beautiful. I'm the only person who's going to be here hundred percent of the time for myself. That makes so much sense. We got to show up for ourselves too, you know? So I know I kind of mentioned it before, but I have to tell everybody else. So I'm a huge fan of Outer Banks. I love the show. Me and my husband binge watched it. It was so, so good. I could not figure out what to do with my hair today. So guys, this hairstyle is inspired by Miss Madison Bailey in Outer Banks during the midsummer uh, event that they go to in the show. And I actually really like it. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. I know that there's a lot of um, people who watch and really love the show. Have you been calling your castmates? Have you been talking to them? Like, how does it feel? maybe not knowing when the second season is going to start. Cause I would really like to know when the second season is going to start too. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> um, I think there's a, a little bit of anxiousness just to even get confirmed for a season two, but I'm sure it's just because of everything with the virus. We have no idea when we'll be able to get back to things. Um, so that's a little hard, but there's just so much to celebrate that it's, never like a stagnant feeling of like, Oh, I wish they would. And it's like, there's so much happening, you know? Oh, well, I mean, and so many people are discovering the show right now because what are we going to do? Listen to music, watch shows, you know, and it's, it must be really cool. This is the first major role for you. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, how does, Oh, like that's gotta be so incredible. <laughs> so good <laughs> not good it feels amazing it fe- i feel really proud of myself i was thinking the other day while in my meditation process of self love and i was like my younger self cuz sometimes it's really helpful for people to talk to their younger selves and reconnect because that's yeah. where people disconnect and i was thinking i was like my younger self would be so excited to meet me like my, my like eight year old self would fangirl at meeting me and nothing makes me more proud than that. You know, that's, <laughs> that is beautiful. I love that so much. You know, it's, it's really important to actually do that. You have to like, go back and be the person that you needed when you were younger and like, Lee. Yeah. And comfort that younger version of you because it helps bring it full circle to who you are now. I love that you said that. That's such a beautiful thing. Oh, also to everybody watching, I got this delivered to my house today. Guess who else got a very beautiful Amethyst crystal (laughs) delivered to her house today? (laughs) I love it. It's aligning. It's alignment. This is Everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in it. Great minds, great minds. I was wondering if you had any advice for, um, you know, those who are maybe not as comfortable being alone or maybe um, 
not understanding or the fear of things being so kind of up in the air right now. A lot of kids are, you know, missing out on major milestones for them that they think of that I, I didn't really think about it until I was like, wow, I didn't have to worry about not having a prom or something like that. Or like graduating with everybody. That's, that's hard. Um, uh, I think, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> let, let me organize my brain. You, you said, what was the first part of that? So sorry. Just what, just what would you say to somebody who's maybe missing some milestones right now? How would you encourage them? Yeah, I, that's gotta be really, really hard, but I, I'm one of those people who I find a lot of comfort in letting go of things I have no control over. And it's a consistent reminder to just I, absolutely everything happens for a reason. It could be, it could be anything. Um, so as hard as it is, it's new. It's, it's a different experience. It's just something different, you know, it's not traditional. And sometimes that can be fun, you know, to go through some, a different version of all of these new things. It's like, y'all are making history right now. So just like set into it and know that, you know, you can't control it, but don't let that take away the magic of all of that. Like still be proud of yourself for graduating. Cause you, you freaking did that at home where it's homeschool is not easy. You know, tough. Yeah. So be proud of yourself and you'll have plenty of other dances. You can have your own dance. You can make your party whenever you want, you know? Exactly. I love that. I absolutely love that. It's been, it's been really interesting to think of, of things in that way. Um, and also I would just like to say, just going back to a couple questions ago, I'm totally fangirling meeting you and I'm a full adult. So, so I'm super excited, but it was so what? No, I was just saying like, what? You're fangirling meeting me. You had some of your songs had some serious childhood embedding in my life I'm like how are you supposed to breathe with no air you know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much Madison it's been it really has been so much fun sitting and talking with you thank you so much for being a part of this today of course thank you so much